Hello boys and girls, it's Miss Webb here. I am going to help you with your phonics activity today um, and it's making your own cluster word book uh, because this week you have been learning lots of cluster sounds like bl and cl and fl. Let me write those down so that you know what they look like. So bl, how do we write bl? See if you can shout out if I can hear you. Bl. Well done, I think I heard somebody. Bl is a b and an o. Bl. Well done. Another one. Cl. Cl. How do we write cl? Shout out. Cl. Well done. Cl is a k and an o. Cl. Brilliant. And the last one that we'll look at today is fl. Fl. How do we write fl? What does fl look like? Yep. Well done. It's a f and an l. Fl. Super duper. So now that we know those three, you should have printed off, if you can, these pictures here for today's phonics. So it's lots of bl, cl and fl words. So let's just check we know what they are. This is a flag, flag. We've got a cloth, cloth. We've got a rocket that is blasting off, blast. We've got some summer flip flops, flip flop. We've got a clock, clock. We've got a flower, 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 and we've got someone who is bleeding, ble bleed, bleed. Okay, so you should have those pictures printed off, and there are also the words to match those pictures. So your first job really is to cut all of the pictures out and cut all of the words out and match them to the right picture, okay? So you would read the words a bit like you would in bingo. Let's read this one. Bl, b and an ul is bl, bl, eed, bleed. So you'd cut that one out, find where it goes with this one and just put it to one side. Now, when you've done that with all of them, what we would like you to do is to make a little book out of them all. So you've got your own little word book to go back to. I've got some paper, some yellow colored paper here. Just use whatever you've got at home. I'm going to fold my paper to make my own little book. Okay. You might want to see how many pictures there are on here to work out how many pages you're going to need. So I've just folded it. You can staple it if you want to. Ooh, I don't think my staple is working. There we go. Just to hold it in place. There we go. And on the front, I'm going to write my word book. So that's three words. My word book. OK, now we know how to write my because it's an action word, isn't it? My, my top is soft. How do we spell my? I'm having to lean on my book so that I can show you. My, so I'm going to write that at the top here. You can do a capital M. Mm. My. You can do nice rainbow felt tip pens or crayons if you've got them at home. My word. Word. W. Erd. Now, it sounds like there's an er in there. It's a different spelling though. One that we'll learn another time. W. Erd. My word. Now you should know how to write book. It's got the diagraph u uh, in the middle. So b u. Uh, it's not u uh, u uh, umbrella. And k kicking k. My word book. So there I have my front cover. Mine's a bit boring. You can make yours much more exciting with some nice coloured pens and maybe draw a couple of pictures. My word book. And what you could do as well to make it even better is number all your pages from one to however many you need. 
Okay, I'm just going to do one because I'm just showing you how to do it and then you're going to go off and do it yourself. So, which picture shall I do? I'm going to do... Ooh, I think I'm going to do the flag. The United Kingdom flag. Okay, so you just need to cut it out, which you should have done already. Okay. Flag. And I also need to find the word flag on here. See if you can spot it for me. Flag. 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 Shout out what colour it is. It's the red one here. Yeah, well done. I'll cut that one out as well. I'm being very quick demonstrating for you. Okay, so I've got my word flag and my picture flag. And then what I'd like you to do is... Where's my glue stick gone? It's run away. Never mind. So turn your first page in your book and stick those words, stick that word and your picture in together, like this. I've lost my glue, so I'm just going to have to show you like this. Okay, so I've got my word, I've got my picture, they're on the right page together. Now, what I also want you to do, because I think you'll find this activity quite easy, leave yourself a little bit of space underneath your picture and word to write a sentence with this word in. So my word is flag. So I'm going to write the sentence, I see a flag. Don't write a really complicated sentence, just try and do one that you can sound out all the words. So I, you know I, there we go. What do I need to do before my next word? Do I write it right here? No, I need to leave a finger space. So I, C. C is one of our action words. C. There we go. I see finger space. A. That's a nice easy word. I see a. Now I don't think I'm going to have enough room here. So I, I don't need to squash it up. I just need to go underneath, which is fine. I see a flag. And I know how to write flag because it's here. A -g. I see a flag. <gasps> what have I forgotten off my sentence? A full stop. <gasps> Must remember those full stops, mustn't we? So there's my first page. I'll write number one in the corner of my book. There we go. Oh, flag's falling off. Then when you've done one, Turn the page and go on to do the next one. So you've got all of these pictures to do. So it's quite a nice little fun bookmaking activity today. OK, take some pictures of how you get on and I'm looking forward to seeing them. OK, have fun, boys and girls. Bye.